I've been using Apple Intelligence since it came out last week. And these are my favorite features that Apple has released. So the first new feature of Apple Intelligence is the enhanced series redesign. So if we long press on our home button, you can see that the entire ledges of the screen are in color and you can see that it is actually recording what I am saying right now. You could also bring up Siri if you double tap on the bottom portion of your screen or on the home indicator. This is a lot easier when you don't have a case, but if I do have a case right now, if I double tap, then I can ask Siri a question just by typing. A big feature of Apple Intelligence is the mail prioritization and summary. For example, if you look at market briefs, you see that there is a little icon right before the word market. And this is what Apple Intelligence tells you that is the summary of that particular email. So we open it here. And in all of our emails at the very top, we will have summarize. If we hit summarize, give it a few seconds. Then it will just give you a one to three sentence summary of the email, which is pretty good, especially if you are going through a lot of emails for work. In the mail app, there's also the priority section up here. Sometimes I get emails that are listed under priority and sometimes I do not. I am still unsure as to how Apple Intelligence actually sets the priority of the email so that it displays at the very top. But once I find out more, I will let you know. The last feature that I wanna highlight, which in my opinion is the best Apple Intelligence feature so far, is the ability to create a memory movie. So you wanna open up the Photos app and then you scroll down a bit and you will see create a memory movie. And then you can actually type in the memory or you can type in a suggestion. And if I tap Sophie in 2023, hit done. And then it will take all of the photos and just grab only the photos that include Sophie. So you can see that there's more photos of her coming along. And this is the memory here. It does have music, so I am not gonna play that music, but you can also change the music if you want to. So you can see at the very bottom, we're gonna be all right by Percy Faith, and you can just add a different sound. Are you excited to use Apple Intelligence? Let me know how you plan on using this brand new feature when iOS 18.1 comes out in the fall. As always, thank you all for watching. It really helps me out. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.